so in a bowl I'm going to add in washed chicken To this I'm going to add in red chili powder as well as squeeze in some lemon juice and I'm going to combine uh, all this well while coating the chicken with the added mixtures and refrigerate this for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes I'm going to add in some salt some red chili powder again garlic paste ginger paste garam masala powder mustard oil and curds all the measurements are in the description box below go check them out now we combine all of this well together massage the chicken with the added ingredients cover and refrigerate overnight or for at least four hours Now in a small kadai, I'm going to add in some coconut oil, you can use regular oil, no issues. I've taken in some spices, cinnamon, cardamom and cloves and I'm going to add all of this once the oil becomes hot. Saute them for a minute. Now I have roughly chopped in the tomatoes and I'm adding them into this kadai. Mixing all of them once well. And we are going to cover this and cook till the tomatoes are mushy. So it takes time. Now in this middle I'm just showing you how it looks. You can still see water there. So our main aim is to see that all the water is evaporated, okay? So you need to cook the tomatoes till the entire water is evaporated. Before that, in the middle, I'm going to add in some ginger paste, garlic, as well as a green chili. Combining all of this well together and as I said, cover and cook till all the moisture from the tomatoes are gone. So you can see that 98% of the water has evaporated from the tomatoes. This is the time when we switch off the flame. Allow this to cool down completely. Now we transfer this cool down mixture into a mixie jar and blend them into this kind of consistency don't add water also I have made a homemade tomato puree the video will be in my channel I've taken one and a half cups of the same now let's begin the main cooking so in a deep bottom kadai I'm going to add in some coconut oil as well as butter also I've added in ginger garlic paste and the marinated chicken with the entire ingredients okay also the blended mixi jar ingredients as well as the homemade tomato puree you can also use store-bought tomato puree but I prefer to make it at home and use it in my recipes like this combine all of them together now I'm going to add in some honey as well as you can see combine well 
again here as you can see there are a bit of greens here and there at the edges i have you know rubbed kasuri methi leaves between my palms and added into this mixture and i forgot to record that so that's the reason i showed you okay so we'll cover and simmer this for about 10 minutes then after 10 minutes we are going to lift up the lid and add in sliced green chili as well as chopped coriander leaves also adding in some fresh cream all the ingredients are in the description box below please go check them out for precise measurements combine all of this well together keep the flame the flame as low medium and allow this to simmer for about one and a half hours yes you heard me you want this recipe to be rich patience comes with the time as well okay after one and a half hours i have added in some sugar jaggery and also sprinkling in some garam masala combine all of them well cover and simmer this for about five to ten minutes that's it your butter chicken is ready switch off the flame and garnish it with some fresh cream enjoy this recipe it's heavenly trust me have it with roti or even ghee rice enjoy this recipe god bless you all and i will see you all next time in my other videos until then take care guys